you know, uh, back when I was in, I was, uh, ever since I was a little boy, I, um, I always wanted to be a, uh, a, a professional athlete. You know, um, I, you know, I, I grew up playing baseball ever since I was like five years old, and one of my dreams were, you know, I just wanted to be a professional athlete. Um, I mean, in the beginning, I wanted to be a baseball player, uh, but things happened, whatnot. But in ultimately, I just, I just knew, I knew deep down inside, you know, I wanted to be kind of like every young boy. I just wanted to be a professional athlete. So, you know, all my life I was playing sports, uh, baseball, football. Um, and I just always, you know, wanted to be the best person that was out there because I always saw myself as someone that's going to be out there, you know, on TV one day and playing a uh, professional sport. So uh, just to kind of fast forward just a little bit, um, all my, my, my entire life I was playing sports. And um, when I got to high school, you know, I, um, I had a coach who, to, to tell me one day I was sitting, I was sitting inside of the, uh, in, in the dugout in baseball that I was slow as pond water. Now, <laughs> in my head, you know, I was like, I like, dude, <laughs> I'm not slow, you know, cause pond water doesn't move in my mind. You know, I knew I was like, bro, I am, I'm like so fast. I'm like, I'm one of the fastest cats out here. You know, in my mind, I knew I was fast. So what I did was, you know, um, my junior year, I sat there, you know, at the baseball practice. I went home. Um, I worked out, and I mean, I just, I just, I went in. Like what I did was, I at the baseball practice, I did an hour and an hour and a half of, I did an hour and a half of like of aerobics. I was listening to uh, the uh, Def Jam booty mix tapes, just doing uh, dot drills, jumping, jumping jacks. I was doing A skip, B skips. Um, I was doing all this. I mean, I locked myself in my room every single day my junior year at the baseball practice. And I just like just got ripped up, shredded up. I lost so much weight. And after I did my aerobics, I then went outside and ran heels. Now, this hill over uh, by, my, by my, uh, my mom's house is about 60 meters long. You know, and I would sprint that hill every single day after I did, you know, an hour, you know, hour and a half of aerobics. So what happened was, you know, I noticed that I was, I was becoming faster. I was springing. I was, I was chasing down fly balls. I was doing everything. And I got, and, and everybody kind of noticed it like, dang, Miss, Miss got fast as hell. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and it was crazy. Um, you know, and turn around to my, to my, to my senior year, you know, I, you know, I had a real good football season. Um, I set two records, um, and and but I still didn't have any kind of offers, you know, which was weird to me. I was like, man, you know, I had a real good season, set two school records. Those records lasted for about almost ten years. Uh, I want to say eight or so. Uh, the person who broke it was Aunt Mary. Uh, you know, hey, one of my homeboys all good, uh, but hey, Raiders so till I die. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, show high school. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I had a real good good senior season, but I, I played hurt the entire season. So what happened after my senior football season? Um, I'll tell you that, but I had I had a couple people. No, actually, I, I, I didn't have any real offers. Okay, uh, but after my senior season, my baseball coach, because remember, I wanted to play baseball my entire life. I, I, that's that's what I grew up playing, and that was my my, my number one thing. Uh, football was, was one of the things that, that I, I loved to play, and it, it was fun. And you know, I wanted to go to college and play football also too. Uh, but my main goal was is, is to be a professional athlete. All right, so just just rewind a little bit back back to back to my um, my senior year after my football season. My baseball coach told me to the way to, to sit out about two weeks so I can recover because I, I hurt my hip flexor. So I sat out two weeks. And when I came back to for baseball workouts, he asked me what I was doing. And I said, Coach, I'm ready, ready to, uh, you know, practice. And he, he told me, he was like, hey, <laughs> bro, you're not on the team, man, because you missed all this practice. So, you know, we kind of sit there and kind of, you know, argue back and forth. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a very respectful person, so I, I didn't just, you know, just go off go off the wall. Uh, probably should have, you know, but then again, you know, that's, that's just what it is. So that was kind of the end of me, me playing baseball. So I was sitting at home and I was like, dude, you're like one of the fastest cats at the entire school. Why are you just, you know, you can't, I, I got to have to do something for the second semester. So I, I decided to, to go on and, 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 and do, um, and wrestle. I tried to wrestle. 
I went I went to a wrestling tryouts and the coach just and the coach just sit me with and say, Darren, get out of here, boy. You ain't I'm I'm not fooling with you. It's your senior year, you can't wrestle now. I said, Yeah, you're right. So then I, I said, Hey, since I'm fast, I'll just go ahead and try for track. So I went out for track and that's where I learned really how to get very, very fast. Now get me wrong, I, I I was fast, but I learned the mechanics of, of running a little bit. So there was a uh, there was a combine down in Tallahassee that that uh, that that, that uh, my football coach uh, told me about. So I signed up for it, went down to it. There were, there were like maybe twenty five different scouts down there, and the moment they saw me run my forty, I had like five offers right then. I had so many people just you know saying so many people contacting me, sending me letters just for me to come to their school. Uh, one school stood out. They called me every single day during track season to make sure that I was coming there. They sent me the offer. I signed and went um, and did my thing. So when I went to college, I balled out, did all that. And after my senior year in, in, in college, you know, I was back to that same point where is where am I going to go next? What am I going to do? Because I, I want to play professional football. I want to play. I want to do something. So I tried out for different teams, didn't make it. Um, I trained. Um, I got I got I got my weight back down, um, got 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 my speed back faster and everything. Because when you when you get out of school and you, you get out of that that habit, that that um, that ritual of doing something, that's when you know you kind of kind of kind of slack off and you don't and you don't stay focused. So I had to refocus and and, and start back the, the the rituals of working out every single day. You know, busting busting my tail to get back in that shape so I can make this team. So I move home. And, you know, I got in the best shape of my life. I mean, I got beast mode. I mean, there was nothing that, that anybody could do that stopped me. I was the fastest cat on the team. I couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't mess with me. You know, and I made the, uh, I ran a football team. You know, I, you know, and, and so at the end of the day, when I made that team, I was like, bro, I, I actually did it. By so many coaches telling me, you know, that, hey, Mitch, you're slow. You're not this, you're not that. And just that, 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 that time back to my junior year, when I spent all that time, at my mom's house, inside the bedroom with the locked door, doing booty booty jam mixtapes, just 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 jumping around and running hills. That brought me that that taught me that taught me one thing, you know, that nothing can hold you back. Like failure cannot hold you back, as long as your your determination is is there to back it up. As long as you you know your, your determination is strong enough, you know there is no failure. There's nothing that that you can do. That no one, no, no one can say. No one, no one can do to hold you back from doing what you want to do. All right. Um, that's the gist of this video. You know, I just want you to understand that you know, no one can hold you back from doing the things that you want to do. Because if you, if 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 it's if your determination is strong enough, there is no failure. Because you're gonna keep working and keep doing the things that you want to do to succeed at whatever you want to do. All right, guys. Um, that's the end of this video. Um, share it with other people. Make leave a comment and just hey, tell me some sort about your experiences or or some that you came through. You know, since so have a discussion. Um, I love to hear about you. Um, just let me know. Um, I want to hear some some of the things that that, that you you've overcome in, in in your life. Okay, uh, leave a comment, like the video, and I uh, love you guys and uh, peace out and I see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.